Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody out there doing today? I don't expect too many of you to tune into this video because these videos for Assassin's Creed openings are not getting very many views. It's peaks and valleys, I guess. We had uh, record views for the last probably year um, in uh, for the Modern Horizons 3 boxes, but these have been pretty slacked. So hopefully Bloom Bloomberg picks it back up when that one comes out. Everybody seems to be really excited about that one. Everybody forgot this said he was even coming out. They're all just looking forward to Bloomsboro and now it's Dusk Morn and Foundations. <laughs> corsets are back. They're just not calling corsets, so it's okay. Um, they said corsets would never be back, so they're not technically lying because it's not called a corset. It is a corset, but they're not calling it a corset. Anything else? Hello? All right, nothing in there. Okay. Let's bust open these Assassin's Creed that has nothing to do with magic uh, Yu-Gi-Oh packs here. See what these 10 cards hold. <laughs> and we're off. Colossal Piracy. Good card. Uh, not going to lie. There is some really good cards in the set. Hard card set, though. You're going to get them a lot. Desynchronization. Cover of Darkness. Kenway. And Cover of Darkness again. I rest my case. And an Assassin's Treasure Token. I do love the printing on a Treasure Token. Our work. Great job. And what's next? What do we got? What do we got? Murphy. Go for the throat. Etched. That's a pretty cool card. Sigurd. Uh, Staff of Hermes. Desynchronization again. Sean and Rebecca again. And the Shapeshifter. We don't see that token as often. The Shapeshifter token seems to be possibly the rarest one on the set. Um, I could be wrong, but it definitely doesn't seem to fall out of the packs as often as a lot of the others. It almost looks like there's still another card there for a minute, but this card is crazy green ramp. Put two lands into play at the same time. It's nuts. And one into your hand. Staff of Edom for our first mythic. And the Animus. And, oh, did we get one? Oh, we got one. We got an S card. These cards look so good. They look like a Topps Chrome or something. They're nuts. Really, really cool looking cards. Um, yeah, so there we go. We got an etched card. This is only the second one I've gotten so far. We've opened a decent amount of boxes already. So there we go. And then we got a Kenway Mythic right after it in the etched Edward Kenway. And a flip off, dude. Flipping off, dude. Flipping off, dude. Run away with a smirk while he's flipping the bird. Probably not flipping the bird, but I'm gonna say that because it's funny. I like funny. Oh, wait, that's not how the saying goes. It's money. Okay. Assassin's Trophy, Black Market Connections, the reprint pack here, Temporal Trespass, Jackdaw, the first original card in the whole pack. Assassin and copy. Oh, maybe the copy is actually the hardest one to get. Uh, very few copy tokens. Very, very few. There's not a lot of copies of copy. Eh, see what I did there. It's not what I did, it's what they did. Sunbake Canyon in the land spot. Black Market Connections again. If you're going to get duplication, that's probably the way to go. Jack Daw. I have Alexandria. And rest in peace, great sideboard guard. And the treasure token again. Okay. What do we got? We got murder. That's what we got. Murder in the wallet. Uh, what must be done? Royal Assassin. Black Market Connections for the third time in this box. And Jacob Fry. All right. Couple of lads tried. So the price on Black Market Connections is going to tank. That's all I can tell you. We got three of them in one box, and we're not even, we're just barely, this is the first pack of the second half. So, bad things so. though. Great card. So I think there might be a problem. Brad, dude. Staff of Hermes, the Animus again, and Desmond Miles again. And the Church Token. Okay. We got the textured foil. That's the big deal. Tax Collector always showing up when you don't want them to. And Cover Darkness. Crystal Skull. I do like the Crystal Skull. And Evil War, the Wolf Kiss for the next Mythic. And the Rat Dude in the Etched. And the Phobos Token. Look, a four mythic, uh, five if you count the etched mythic. So, it's not a bad box. Even if we don't get a whole lot of goodies, I have a feeling those etched foils 
or the textured walls are going to be worth a little something because they are gorgeous and they are hard to hit. The Animus, Cover of Darkness, Sigurd, and Javi. And I'm running away. All right. Human Rogue. Three more packs. At least these boxes go fast. They're not long videos. That's good. Uh, Basim, Basim, Jackdaw. The Staff of Hermes again. And the Staff of Hermes again. So we got a play set of the Staff of Hermes in this box, all right? And a Mysterious Creature. These boxes are Mysterious Creatures. And pack down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's off the screen. He's doing something shady. I can't even been over to pick it up. All right. I got it back. <laughs> if there's a serial number in this pack, people are going to call shenanigans. You watch. <laughs> uh, I don't care. If I get a serial number, I don't care what you call it. <laughs> I'll be happy. I doubt we'll get a serial number in the same box as, uh, as a texture flaw, though. Keep your own propaganda. And it was something good. Had it been over to pick up this pack. Better be worth it. Rebirth engine. Spirally nice. Again, ooh, the Socrates full art. That's pretty. And the Aberdeen and Treasure Token. Last pack. Come on. I don't have many of these boxes to open. I think I only got like one more, maybe two more. I don't know. I haven't counted. We didn't get very many. Give us something good. Oh, Templar Knight. That's well. That's cool. Not what we're wanting, though. Rest in peace. Black Market Connections. We got a play set of Black Market Connections in this box. Cover of Darkness. We got like 20 of those. Leonardo, but it's not serial numbered, but it is detection, or the etch foil, and it's gorgeous. I was so psyched when they announced that Leonardo da Vinci was going to be in here. I'm like, Leonardo da Vinci on a magic card? That is awesome. Bobos. All right. So, we didn't get very good mythics, or well, we didn't get a lot of mythics. One, two, three, four, five, six, but we got good ones. We got Leonardo in the tech, in the etch foil. Uh, the Rebirth Engine might be good. We'll find out. Wolf Kiss, probably not. Uh, Temporal Trespass, we know is good. Kenway, probably not. Uh, Vault's Key, we'll have to see. Hey, I'll pull it. Didn't even know it. But this guy right here with his textured awesomeness. Woo, it's all shiny and glossy. Uh, the Altair. I have no idea how to pronounce the rest of it. Ibn La Ahad. Um, yeah. not gonna go there all right so <laughs> texture foil cards it looks gorgeous it's uh yeah they look like really high quality cards the quality of this set is actually it's not great don't get me wrong it's not great the magic quality hasn't been great in a long time but it's uh it is a lot better than mh3 was i will give it that uh mh3 was terrible terrible quality the cards were good as we can as we've seen now the cards are really strong in that set but the quality was awful. This one does seem to be a little better quality. In fact, I bet these are made in Japan. How much do you want to bet? Oh, made in Belgium. Oh, that's one we don't see very often. All right, so the Belgian ones are still pretty good quality. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to check out that description below. I'm going to use my thumbs because it's weird. I don't, I don't usually do it. That finger, that finger, thumb, finger, thumb, thumb, finger, thumb, finger. Anyway, click some of those links. It helps out. Thank you guys so much for your time. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.